can do is weep here, hoping that a kind passerby might find your remains. <laughs> Young master, please forgive my impropriety. I am but a widow, here to mourn my late husband. Show some kindness, and excuse my manners. We lived in peace in our mountaintop home. But out of nowhere, wicked insects swarmed the place. They occupied our village. I was the lone survivor. I intended to retrieve my late husband's keepsakes. But the Gwai's leader, the Scorpion Lord, has discouraged all my attempts with his death sting. It's been long since any soul has trodden these hidden bounds. Pale, young master. Your face is gaunt, complexion sallow. Both remind me of the venom's touch, as the worm also besets you. An oddity thrives here. The armor worm. Consuming its eggs grants great power. Yet once the larvae hatch, they devour your insides, leaving an undying husk. My fellow disciples, hungry for power, consumed those eggs. And now, most are beyond remedy. Young master, if you will, and their suffering in my stead. They were my fellows. I can't. Their lifeless bodies might still bear eggs unhatched. Bring those eggs to me, and perhaps I can find a cure.
ended. This is it. Vile and evil it is. Hence, I must bring it back for thorough study. Young master, in our brief acquaintance, you were kind enough to do me a favor. Why not extend your kindness by leaving your head with me? That would please my master greatly. Feast to power my metamorphosis ascension. These impudent mortals have overreached themselves. Their demise was of their own creation. <sighs> but you, you are special. What poison them only strengthens you. Keep it close and wield it wisely. You'll see its potential. Go. Release him. Being trapped there is a torment worse than death. I've watched him grow up. I cannot bring myself to do it. 